When inspection reviews and approvals are part of your workflow, the approval checkpoints are an important feature that can streamline your process. They give you the ability to have a specific user, such as a quality manager, sign off on an inspection. Or even multiple approvers, such as project managers, directors, and even customers. No matter what approval process your company follows, the checkpoint approval feature can enhance your workflow, and this video shows you how they work and how you can add them to your checklist templates. So let's start with a field superintendent who has completed an inspection and is ready for the quality manager to review and approve it. He assigns the quality manager by selecting her name on the approval checkpoint and then clicking the ready for review box. The quality manager will be alerted that this inspection is ready for her approval. She can open the inspection, review it, and if everything looks correct, she'll remove the ready for review check mark, click approved, and then provide a signature. Now this inspection has been approved as correct and complete. But let's say there's a problem or an error on the inspection. The quality manager obviously wouldn't click approve. Instead, she'll remove the ready for review check mark, click the open button, and type a note explaining the issue with the inspection. She can use the comment feature to write the superintendent a message and FTQ will email that comment to the superintendent. Now he's aware that his inspection has an issue that needs his attention. When he's made the correction, he can resubmit the inspection for approval by once again clicking the Ready for Review checkbox. And now the process repeats itself. The approval checkpoint can be added to any checklist template. To add it, go to the Checkpoint Setup screen for the checklist and add a new checkpoint. Type the verbiage for the checkpoint, then for the checkpoint type, select Approval. Click Save and the new approval checkpoint has been added to your checklist. To ensure a specific user can be selected as an approver on the dropdown on the approval checkpoint, you'll need to make sure that the user has access to the project. You can verify this access by going to Project Setup Process screen and selecting the project. Then select Project Access. Approvers must have edit or create permissions for the project. If you have any questions about adding an approval checkpoint to your checklist templates, or would like a demonstration of how this feature works, please contact us. We'd be happy to help.